Birmingham is officially broke. The city council, the largest local authority in Europe, is effectively bankrupt. Services for more than 1.1 million people are now under threat. And the Labour leadership under pressure to explain and apologise. For anybody who's suffering across the, across the city, you know, anything that impacts and that the council has done wrong, we'll hold up our hands and we will say sorry for. We've seen local government being cut. We've had the council itself has lost over a billion pounds worth of funding as a result of consecutive conservative governments. This has been ongoing. It's not just unique to Birmingham. What is unique to Birmingham is the council faces a £760 million bill for equal pay claims it still owes after a court ruling in 2012. A botched IT upgrade could cost £100 million and leaders also blame inflation for the £87 million black hole in the current budget. But the Tory opposition blame mismanagement. They've been telling the public there was going to be a golden decade to get re-elected, while in fact we now know they've built it on fool's gold, where the accounts haven't been signed off and there's no actual allowance made for the debt that they owe. It's not the first council to announce effective bankruptcy, but it is the largest and provides housing for families in places like Hall Green, which has one of the highest levels of child poverty in the country. And we speak to families all the time who have really bad problems with mould or mice infestations. Our concern is what little maintenance and support there is available for these families will slowly eat away until there's precious little left. Teachers worry funding for children with additional needs could be hit. We rely on that money to be able to get the resources we need for our pupils and to um, pay for additional adults. We have speech and language therapist that we pay for that comes to school. Without that funding, we would struggle to provide that. We won't know exactly which services will be cut until decisions are made in the coming weeks. But in this current cost of living crisis, when so many people need more help, the reality in this city now is there'll be even less to go around. And while the political blame game continues here, it's the people of Birmingham who'll lose out. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Birmingham.